Hey guys, Chaz here from Puglisi Speak Shop with your Tuesday morning tech tip that has pretty much nothing to do with anything technical. All right, so first off, let me just tell you guys we're all right. You know, there was you might have heard some gunshots in the background. It's just somebody that uh, got a little bit of money to waste. I didn't piss nobody off. Well, I probably did. But I don't think I pissed that guy off. So we should be all right. Uh, oh, there he is again. We'll see. We'll see. If, uh, if anything, well, you know, whatever. It's distracting. So Clearly my mind's all over the place. We'll try and uh, here we go. So you can see I got a half wax car behind me, which kind of has something to do with today's tip. You guys all know Kevin, right? And uh, he's been in the market for a, uh, a G body for about a year or two now. We've looked at two, both of them very nice, very clean. Just uh, neither one exactly what he wanted, I guess. So today we went and looked at one. Just today was number two. And I already gave it away that he probably didn't get it because I said it wasn't exactly what he was looking for. This guy with the gun, forget about it. All right, so he... Uh, he gave me up the other day, hey, I found this car. I was, you know, had the kid throw a picture up here. I said, yo, T-top, Aero Coupe, we got to go look at it. Well, we'll get into it, but uh, I'm not a T-top, nor am I an Aero Coupe guy, but I love a clean G-body, so I'm on board. So we take a ride up, we check it out. And uh, the thing is, I had a lot of stuff to do. Like I said, half wax car, right? And I got other stuff to do on it. And I got, I mean, you guys see the shop. That's still got like, you know, flat tire. Uh, I got stuff going on. But, guy hits me up, says, let's take a ride, go look at this car. What are you gonna do? All right, guys, so he seems to be out of ammo for a minute. I'm gonna try and get through this, all right? So, we want to look at this car. So Kevin hits me up, right? And he's like, let's go check it out. Let's do it this weekend. You guys know I always got a million things going on. And uh, I kind of been slacking a little bit during the week and not getting down here when I should. So I still got to finish this car and get it all waxed up. So this way, uh, you know, I can get into everything else we've been talking about. So first I'm like, man, I really can't do it, right? But go look at the car I love, hang out with a buddy, grab some meat, whatever. That's all right. I'll fit it in there, right? So, so that's what we do. And uh, guys, when I go look at something, and, I, and this is something you should never do, I try my hardest not to, but a lot of times I fall in love before I go. And that's a terrible idea. So when I go look at cars with Kevin... He doesn't do that at all. and uh, Or if he does, he um, he's real good at hiding it. But uh, I know he loves the Aero Coupe. I know he wants a T-top car. And there's not a whole lot of them running around, especially for sale. And locally, it's like an hour away. So uh, we're going to take a look at the thing. The 305 that was in it, I don't think there was anything wrong with the motor. But uh, he said, yeah, it smokes. He didn't say you can't keep it running. But that was true as well. Um, and it, it smoked like a freight. It was, I mean, bad. Like, worse than anything I got over here, if you can believe that, right? So, Kevin gets it fired up, and it's terrible. He has, the guy thinks maybe the car, he, it was, he didn't know. He never had the car running good, right? So, a lot of unanswered questions. There was that. But I'm looking at this car, and I'm like, man, it's clean. You know, it's, uh, there's like one or two spots have a little bit of bubble in the paint. Uh, it was a Massachusetts car, so I mean, forget about it, right? They, uh, at, you know, the body kit, there was a body, like a little ground effects thing, and it wasn't stock, and it wasn't the best fit. Um, somebody smoked the thing. It didn't smell like it, so that was good, but there was a couple little holes in the seats and little stuff like that that really, really, I mean, and that guy wanted top dollar, so it wasn't a top dollar car. But there's little things, like, so, like, and, and 
some, like when I see people do it, I'm like, ah, oh, you're nitpicking. But hey, man, this is your car, right? Well, it may be. So before you want it to be, you want to know whatever you can know. So we walk around it, and the guy's like, it was believed to be original paint except for like the hood, but um, there was a lot of things that it was that they was resprayed, um, like tape line. Okay, in one spot could have been a touch up, but it was and there was some sand marks and like little stuff. And the more you looked at it, it was it was a nice car. Don't get me wrong, but uh, you know, the more we looked at it, the more I'm like, uh, ah, yeah, you know. So he ended up not picking it up, and. Solid choice, you know. I mean, maybe if it was about half the price the guy was asking, yeah, scoop it up. So there's differences, though, right? So, like, when I go look at a car, you guys see the, well, I, this was handed to me. But I look at stuff that's a major project, and, and Kevin was going to kind of turn that into one. He wanted to LS swap it for LADE, 9-inch, not go crazy, which is hard for Kevin because he was a drag guy for a while. Drag racer. So. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I just, um, you know, my, my, my look is totally different. So I'm like, I can fix that. I can fix that. I can fix that. Where Kevin's was, I'm looking to pay up for it. So I should have to fix this stuff. And he's 100% right. So uh, I just kind of want to get on here and give you guys a little, when you're going to buy something, do more of what Kevin does than what I do. Because I'm like, I'm going to go buy this car. Kevin says, I'm going to go look at this car. Two completely different things. It sounds like we're saying the same thing, but we're not, right? But the funny part is, that's not even a tech tip, guys. <laughs> I know, I know. I told you, right? The tech tip is, get out of the shop sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, and like, I, I, I know it's kind of, I'm contradicting because before I said I was kind of getting lazy and I wasn't down here as much as I should be. But there's nothing wrong with it. You're gonna get, you know, for me, anyways. You got guys like Dan over there in DD Speed Shop that you know he he don't even need a house. You know he's always on, and I and I admire that. But we're not all built that way, right? Um, I like spending a lot of time down here, but you get burned out, right? Whatever. So get outside out of the shop. Go outside. Have you know? Go do something else. Every now and then, nothing wrong with that. But if your buddy hits you up to go look at a pretty rare aero coupe, don't think about it. Just say yes. Thanks for watching, guys.